Hey, good morning, everybody. We are in beautiful Farmer's Branch. We got this carrier. Um, problem with this carrier is that it is not heating. So I just started my diagnosis. Discharge air 68. Um, if you can see right in here, let's see right here, you guys can right here. Heat one and heat two are both uh, calling. So we're calling for heat one, heat two. So I came in here just to take a look at it. I understand this unit has seen better days and uh, it is what it is. So one of the first thing I notice is I have a code right there. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so five, five flashes means uh, right here. Ignition lockout, no ignition within 15 minutes. So something happened that we did not ignite. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, reset this unit and uh, see what see uh, see what happens. Here it is. Just gonna shut it off for a few minutes and then uh, we'll get back to you, guys. We just restarted the system. We're gonna give it a minute for it to call, and we'll sit right here and we'll see what it does. We're not gonna mess with anything. Let's go ahead and have a seat. And uh, we're gonna see what this unit does. Uh, I believe I am the fourth technician out here. Um, it keeps coming in a, as a callback, so hopefully there will not be a fifth. Let's see if this thing starts right up. There's a blower motor. All right, guys, inducer fired right up. We're in 0.6 amps. I did notice that the uh, spark igniter did start sparking. Holy moly. There it goes again. No ignition. Well, you got hooked up to the gas valve right there. I'm not getting any voltage. Not right now, but look right there, it's calling. Nothing. So let's find out why we're not getting voltage to the gas valve. All right. So as you can see, we started right up. Let me tell you what I did. You see right there where it says GV, my gas valve. So you can see my, my leads right here. As I was trying to get them in, I heard my gas valve start clicking. And as soon as I was messing with this, I got fire. So we either have a loose connection or something going on with the wiring. So uh, let's see if we can't uh, cause an issue here. This off. Take this off. Yep, there it is. Shut right off. There, see that? There it is, that's a problem. All right, I don't want to blow up, so I'm going to go shut this off, and uh, we'll see what we can do about it. All right, guys, so I took this off. Um, I inspected my connector. I know you can't really see in there, but I don't see any loose, any loose connections or anything. Um, I took my board off, and I was looking here, and I don't see any loose pins. I think my problem is somewhere in there, or maybe even right here. See, this is the Hall Effect switch, and you can see the corrosion right there on that connector. Um, so right now, I'm just really, I'm, I'm just kind of fishing. I'm just trying to see what could cause it. Uh, I'm about to put this back in and, uh, and just kind of verify that this is what's causing my problem. I think it is. So I don't have any um, um, sandpaper with me or something abrasive. 
So, um, just for temporary purposes, I just scratched all these with a screwdriver. And um, I ran a, my drill with a screw just so we can kind of uh, score it right there. Maybe we'll get a little bit of better grounding, but um, I don't think the grounding is an issue, but I just, I'm already here, might as well just do that, so here um, that is the little indent right there that goes on the pin so let's see if we can hmm. doesn't look too bad So we'll tighten them up a bit, then we'll connect it back up and see if uh, we still have that problem. So go ahead and do that. I'm actually pulling all of these out one by one. And if you can see, see that little piece right there? So all I'm doing is, see if I can get some video here with one hand. It's pretty difficult with one hand. So I'm just grabbing that and doing a little bit of a squeeze. That Let's little see. indent right there, I'm making it a little bit tighter so that it can actually make good contact with these pins. So I'm gonna pull all these out one by one and do that. Uh, just as a precaution, I really don't want another callback. Once you've had, once you're the fourth tech out here, you take the time to do this. Because if not, and, and this was the issue, then you'd have a fifth tech out here. And all of a sudden, this other guy was an idiot because he didn't check this and that. So that's why I'm taking the time right now to just do all these. It's not that bad. I'll, I'll be done in a couple minutes. So I have everything back the way it is normally. It's not calling for anything right now. So I do have my gas valve my leads on my gas valve so we should see if we see any uh any voltage here once we decide to call oh wait my bad look at this my bad oh yeah right there it is all right guys so it looks like we're calling for heat one and we don't have anything happening over here yet a solid light which means the system's ready hey guys it took a minute but inducer finally came on. I did get the spark igniter. No spark yet. I mean, no flame yet. We're not getting any voltage up there. So let's go ahead and move this next time we get a spark here. again I was thinking maybe it was this guy because of all that corrosion but for a few minutes I've made a couple of phone calls 
and I have been instructed to replace the board and replace the harness. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're back from Carrier. And as you can see, we got a brand new board. Um, I asked him about this plug right here. And notice how it goes from here to here. All right, like eight inches. And they said that the plug would cost me $580 because they are gonna sell me everything, the entire wiring harness. So we're not gonna do that. Um, I'm really hoping that this wiring harness is, is good. Um, I'm just hoping that somehow the board was bad. If you look right here, you have a lot of discoloration um, right, right across all these uh, resistors here. And around this same area in the back, um, you have some discoloration right here too. So at this point, I'm really, really, really hoping it's the board. I would really hate to have to have another callback um, or have somebody else come back to this callback. Um, like I said, guys, right here, I just uh, scratched the surface so that we can get a good ground on all of them. Um, so we're about ready to start this baby up. Okay, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, finally, after I don't know how long, we fired up. I had to reset the unit once or twice. I mean, it's probably been like 20 minutes since I installed that board and nothing has happened. I was checking, make sure I was calling for heat, which I am. Checked all my voltage, checked everything. So now we're fired up. So unit started up, no problems whatsoever. Let's go ahead and jiggle that to see if that connector's causing an issue. Nope. That's it guys. Oh, I am so relieved that it was actually the board and not the connector because the connector, like I said, they didn't have it or they didn't have the, just that piece. So I'm gonna monitor this thing for a few minutes, but um, I believe that we're good so, to go. I don't see any more issues here. So there we go, gents. Fixed it, hopefully. Hopefully, we don't have a fifth technician out here and uh, we should be good to go. So, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe if you like the content. And uh, we'll see you on the next service call, guys. Thank you.